Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 33 where we left off and we've been talking about Babylon for thus saith the Lord of hosts man wrote the Bible but God speaks the God of Israel the reason why it says God of Israel because Babylon has and will at the writing Jeremiah now will conquer Judah and destroy Jerusalem and the Bible proclaims that anybody anybody not a nation anybody who curses Israel they will get a curse in return the daughter of Babylon is like a threshing floor threshing floor is where you put the grains out and you beat the grains with a sled. It's a time to thresh her. That's beating out the corn. Then you would fan it. Yet a little while. And the harvest of her shall come. And the harvest is. Jesus said at the end of the world the harvest will come. He'll send his angels. That's when all the souls are gathered up. And the chaff and the waste is bound up and, and thrown into the fire. We got a double application of the scriptures here. Of the book of Daniel and the book of the Revelation. Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, has devoured me. He has crushed me. He has made me an empty vessel. He has swallowed me up like a dragon. Oh, look at that reference. Run that over to Revelation chapter 12 and we know who the me is. The dragon waited for that woman to deliver the child so he could eat that child. And that woman was given wings and a place prepared for her. It's Israel. And you're going to see a parallel between Jeremiah, Daniel, and Revelation. He has filled his belly with my delicates, the greatness of the land, the figs, the oil, the grapes. He has cast me out, the people of Israel, the people of Judah. Violence done to me and to my flesh be upon Babylon. What you've done to me, may God return it to you. Shall the inhabitant of Zion, there we go, there's Judah, say, My blood upon the inhabitants of Chaldea, shall Jerusalem say? So it's crying out of vengeance. And if you remember in the book of Revelation, there are souls that have been beheaded under the throne, crying out to God for vengeance. And I got up for today, I got 2 Timothy 2.15. Study and show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be shamed, rightly divine the word of truth. There are many Christians don't even read the Bible. It's a boring book. No. Therefore thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will plead thy cause, Israel. Those beheaded saints, God pleads his cause. You know, wait, there's some more going to die. You wait till I take care of them. And take vengeance on thee. I will dry up her sea and make springs dry. Babylon shall become heaps, piles, waste. They call that, over in that area, they call it a tell. Tel of Eve. Tell is, tell means heap. So when archaeologists come to these places called tell, or in their name, it's saying a heap, there's this big mound of dirt. We're going to go over, we're going to dig in it, and there's a city in it. The dwelling place of dragons. Now, dragons would be reptiles, lizards. But when you run to the book of Revelation, 
an astonishment and a hissing without inhabitants. And they shall roar together like lions. The devil's like as a lion. They shall yell as lions well, little lions. In their heat, we're getting heat in the west. We're getting heat in the south. I will make their feast. Their feast is the lions. The feast would be the people. I will make them drunken. That they may rejoice. And sleep a perpetual sleep. They're rejoicing. They're drunken and rejoicing with a sleep that they shall not. It's not a sleep as, you know, lay on a pillow and close your eyes. It's, they're just walking zombies. Say of the Lord. Now, there are people who just walk around. And they get nothing done. They get nothing accomplished. I will bring them down like lambs to the slaughter, killing, death, like rams with the goats, all kinds. Doesn't care what you are, it's going to be a slaughter. How is Shishak taken? How is the praise of the whole earth surprised? Book of Revelation, we won't read it tonight, but in, in Revelation 18, let's see. Oh, alas, alas, great Babel, everybody's upset. I would go read Revelation chapter 8. We're going to read a couple passages in a moment. How has Babylon become an astonishment among the nations? She will be a nation in the tribulation that will support all nations. And under the reign of the Antichrist, you can't buy nobody. There's going to be no Democrats, no Republicans, kings and queens. This country, that country. It's all going to be under the realm of the Antichrist. Everybody. The sea has come up to Babylon. She is covered with a multitude of waves thereof. In Revelation, that's people, not water. Her cities are desolation, empty and dry land. Nothing, can't do nothing. Every city, every town is founded by an area where you can bring water or there's water. Uh, Las Vegas is they have water brought in. If they turned off that water, there'll be no Las Vegas. A wilderness. And there are places in America, no one's living. It's just dry. Dead, dead valley. No one's living it because there's a will. There's nothing there. There's no life and there's no water. There are places like that all over the world. A land wherein no man dwelleth. That will be Babylon. Desolate. Nothing. Neither does any son of man pass by. You're not going to be walked through it. There are places like that in America, Africa, Middle East. There have been no footprints. Almost like our planet, Mars. No one's walked, no one's walked on Mars. Human. I'm one of the people say no one walked on the moon. I will punish Bel. That's a god of Babylon. You will find his name as Baal, B-A-A-L. I will bring forth out of his mouth. That which he has swallowed up. You know, here's a God's taking the riches, taking the money, taking the food, taking the sacrifice, taking everything from Babylon. Taking everything from Judah. You know they've done it in the name of Baal. As the Philistines conquered the, the, the Hebrews, they've done it in the name of... Uh, uh, oh, man. I, I hate when I was about to say something that goes out of my head. Uh... Dagon. And one night God told Dagon, two nights, 
Get down, brother. Get down. You better bow down before me. And the nation shall not flow together any more unto him. Baal. Baal. The God. Yea, the wall of Babylon shall fall. And it did. My people, go ye out of the midst of her. Now, you take that place. Run to Revelation. We're going to look at Revelation twice tonight. And if we had the time, we would run Revelation 18, four, 18 with it. But we're, Revelation 18, 4. In Revelation 18, 4, we read, I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. There are Hebrews, there are Jewish people in Babylon. Be not partaker of her sins, that ye receive not of her plagues. Back to Jeremiah. Back to Jeremiah 51. 45, my people, go ye out of the midst of her. Deliver every man his soul from the fierce anger of the Lord. That's Revelation. Lease your heart faint. And you fear from the rumor. There'll be, there'll be a lot of, I mean, you think there's fake news today. That shall be heard in the land. It's always been a rumor. Shall both come one year. After that, another year. Shall come a rumor. You go to stop fake news. You can stop it. And violence in the land. Ruler against ruler. And there should be rumors of wars and rumors of battles. Therefore, behold, the days come. I will do judgment upon the graven image of Babylon. You know those graven images of Babylon? There are also the graven images that are in the Catholic Church. There are Babylonian gods that have been changed to Assyrian gods, have been changed to Greek gods, have been changed to Roman gods, and they're Italian gods. It's the same gods with different aliases. And if you get a Baptist church that's got a little rabbit or Easter egg, you got that stuff. You ever seen? Hey, now I'm not talking about. Have you ever seen the idol Esther and what her boobies look like? Her boobies look like what you send your children outside the church to go look for. You know, little hitting eggs. Those images are in the Baptist churches too. You know, you have a. Satan clause long before even the birth of Jesus. And her whole land shall be confounded. And all her slain shall fall in the midst of her. And the heaven and earth and all that is therein shall sing for Babylon. We'll see that in a moment. Remember that. For the spoiler shall come upon her from the north, saith the Lord. You know, there are things that were in Babylon, and today they're in museums. They're no longer in Babylon. Babylon has caused the slain of Israel to fall. Judah, Jerusalem. So at Babylon shall fall the slain of all the earth. Babylon will get a curse for cursing the Jews. I don't care God told her to do it. God said to Jer God said to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, anybody that curses you? I mean, God told Abraham, take his son. You're not to kill anybody. God put a stop to it. Because God knew the Ab Abraham's heart. Abraham's heart was pure towards God. Nebuchadnezzar's heart is, yeah, I want to get him. I want to destroy him. Nebuchadnezzar's heart was not for nothing for God. 
he that had escaped the sword, go away. Stand not still. You you better run. Remember the Lord afar off and let Jerusalem come into your mind. Well, why is that? See what God did to Jerusalem? And her sins? Listen, if God judged Jerusalem, did he? He did. Many times. If God has judged upon Judah, has he? Yes, many times. Has God judged Babylon? Yes, he has. Has God put judgment upon Assyria? Yes, he has. America, God, judgment is coming upon you. Americans think, oh, we're American. Nothing will happen to us. That's the same thing that how Babylon thought. That's the same thing that the people of Judah with Jeremiah. The street preacher, oh, you're full of it. Call the cops on him. You don't know what you're saying. There's this great enemy Babylon coming last week. I was pre pre preaching about the great enemy of, of Muslims. Oh, hey, don't you know any Muslims? Yeah, I know quite a few. I'm glad you didn't ask them where I knew them from. I don't know them all from prison. We are confronted because we have heard a reproach. Shame has covered our faces. Strangers have come into the sanctuaries of the Lord's house. Sanctuaries are little rooms, or little buildings off the Lord's house. Offices and storehouses. Wherefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, I will do judgment upon her graven images. That's twice. Through all her land, the wounded shall groan. The Catholics are going to groan one day. God said in the word, I don't care what your tradition said, no images. Who are aids of worship? Okay, call it whatever you want to call it. God said no. So Babylon should be mounted up to heaven, a mountain. Remember we talked about Babylon the other day as a mountain? She's not a mountain, but she's mounting herself up. America's got herself so high in the skies. She's America the beautiful. This is our land from sea to sea. No, it's an ocean, ocean, stupid. You don't even know where you live. The purple mountains. Ain't purple today. And through she fortify her height and of her strength. Get more armies, get more weapons, build more bricks, make the walls higher, build more walls in Mexico. Yet from me shall spoilers come upon her, saith the Lord. The spoilers come after the battle. After the destruction of spoilers come. Oh, there's a dead body. Hey, look at that sword he's got. I like that. That's mine. I wonder if he's got, I wonder if he's got a wallet. You know, I was told, I forget, World War One, World War Two. The soldiers were trained in such a way to grab a man's wallet, to take what was in that wallet without having to look at the picture. Because if you pulled a picture out of a girlfriend or of a wife or children, that, that would bust you. And there are many swords and weapons and guns in America today from Japan, from Germany, from Korea, from Vietnam, from the places our soldiers were there. That's spoiling. A sound of a cry coming from Babylon. And great destruction from the land of Chaldea. We'll read that in a moment. Because the Lord has spoiled Babylon. Destroyed out of her a great voice. When her waves do roar like great waters. The noise of her voice is uttered. Because the spoil has come upon her. Even Babylon. Her mighty men are taken. Every one of these. Every one of these. Yeah. Every one of their bowls are broken. Military bowls. God's going to break the weaponry and the armory of our Navy, of our Army, of our Marines, of the Air Force, and the Coast Guard one day. I'm sorry, I don't read about cutters in New Jerusalem. 
I don't read any tanks or F-15s in New Jerusalem. Where did they go? For the Lord God of recompenses, plural, shall surely be quite. I make drunk her princes. Drunkenness of your government is a one sign that shows you're going down. Her wise men, her captains and her rulers, her mighty men, they shall sleep a perpetual sleep. Number two. Second time. And not wake. Death. Say it's a capital K King Jesus Christ. This is a second Advent passage. Because this is not the first advent, the little baby coming. Jesus is not a king at the little baby. The only time that Jesus comes as a king, capital K, is at the second advent. And there he is, whose name is the Lord of hosts. Did you read about the coming of Jesus Christ? He had a name that no man knew. And on his, on his side, but... It was a name called the Word of God. And on his side was King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So we're not looking at Daniel's time. Though we are looking at Daniel's time. But not the King Cyrus. Which is the king that said to the Jews, go home and build. Get out of here. And I'll supply it. And the king that told Nehemiah, sure, go ahead. How much money you need and how long will it take? Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the broad walls of Babylon shall be utterly broken. Where are they today? Her high gates, they only got images and pictures, shall be burned with fire. They got that one beautiful gate that they said that the king made for his way, which led to the, Bab the, the hanging, Babel, hanging gardens of Babylon. You can look it up on, uh, on Google. The people shall labor in vain. Whatever you do, it, it's empty. Whatever you're going to do in America, one day it's going to be vain. It ain't going to be worth anything. And if America holds out and you die, everything you've done is vain. If there's one thing Americans haven't learned from the pharaohs, you can gather all your riches and you can put them in your grave. But you ain't going, you ain't going to the afterlife with them. They go to museums or other people's. They say that these great museums of the pharaohs are only found because the grave robbers have gone there first. And the folk in the fire, people burn. They shall be weary. The city is going to burn. All right, we take a new step in verse 59. We're going to learn something new, something new in 59. So, Jer uh, wait, yeah, 59. The word which Jeremiah the prophet commanded Sariah. Here's another man. Jeremiah didn't get very many converts. And we don't know what kind of man Sariah is. The son of Neriah, the son of Matthew, when he went to Zedekiah the king of Judah, this is the last king, Judah has not fallen yet. In Babylon, the fourth year of his reign. And this Sheriah was a quiet prince. He didn't cause a stir. He didn't have any problems with the people. And evidently God could use him. So Jeremiah wrote in a book. Don't be so quick. 
all the evil that should come upon Babylon. Don't be so quick. Even all the words that are written against Babylon. Don't be so quick. What did you learn? Jeremiah said to Sariah, When thou comest to Babylon, see, and shall read all these words. Then thou shalt say, O Lord, thou hast spoken against this place, to cut it off, that none shall remain in it, neither man nor beast, but that it shall be desolate forever. And it shall be when thou hast made an end of reading this book, thou shalt bind it in a stone to it. Take the book and put it, tie it to a stone. And cast it in the midst of the Euphrates. Uh -oh, there's the originals. Where is the originals? Uh, let's see, where do it start? The originals. Jeremiah 50 and 51. Where are the originals of Jeremiah 50 and 51? It's at the bottom of the Euphrates somewhere. And I guarantee it's not intact. Go to get the originals. You ain't going to get the originals. But the book, it says, read these words, 61. Even all the words, verse 60. We are reading that book, verse 63, in our book of Bibles, and yet the originals are under the waters and the mud of the Euphrates River. So remember that when you get, oh, we do it to originals. Okay, remember that. Now, we've had Jeremiah's originals, they were burned one time. Now we got them underwater. The earth was put under the water. Genesis 1. Noah's flood. And then the earth is going to go by fire. Not in that order of the Jeremiah, but that's interesting. And now shalt say, Bar uh, Sariah, thus shall Babylon sink like that book with the rock. You shall not rise from the evil that I will bring upon her. You're not going to get that original. You won't get it. They shall be weary. Thus far are the words of Jeremiah. Now, she shall sink. You see that? Now, where did we see the laughter and joy? you remember what was the verse I told you to remember I didn't mark it when I marked it and disappeared well I told you to mark it Verse 54, a sound of cry coming from Babylon. She's destroyed. Now take your Bibles back to Revelation 18. I got this one more. I mean, we could just read this whole thing. I want to, but I don't want to. We don't have the time. In Revelation 18.21 A mighty angel took up a stone that like a great millstone. You know, we're not told on how big that rock he was supposed to get. But if he was faithful to Jeremiah and God, I guarantee he got the biggest stone he could find to make sure it's stone. And cast it into the sea. And I told you about the people shouting. Look at verse 22. The voice of harpers, musicians, pipers, trumpeters shall be heard no more. Again, you've got to read Exodus, I mean, Revelation chapter 18. 
That's about that. And if you don't, I told you to. And if you don't, that's between you and God. If you're one of those one, I don't read the Bible. Shame, shame on you. And don't go around saying, the Bible's boring. 